Alright, so for the last part of Unit 5, we are going to talk about exporting our video as an MP4 file. We need it to be an MP4 file so that we'll be able to hear the audio synced up correctly with our animation. Now we know how to do file export, export video media, and we know how to do a QuickTime file. Format QuickTime, preset animate. So let's see what happens when we export this QuickTime file. Okay, so we're gonna go and find our unified practice. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sync to finish.mov. And let's see how it plays. I'm just gonna leave it on as crazy as everyone says. Ugh, well. I'm just going to leave it on, not as crazy as everyone says. It just sort of gives up in the middle. It doesn't really know what to do with the audio. It just sort of throws it in there, and that's not what we want. So we do not want to export as an MOV. Instead, we are going to File, Import, sorry, Export, Video slash Media, and change this format to H264. Not H264 Blu-ray, just H264. H264 is the codec that we're going to be using. You're going to leave the preset at default AME, which is Adobe Media Encoder, which is the software that is going to launch once we click this export button. So I'm going to uncheck Start Adobe Media Encoder Render Queue immediately because I want to show you uh, what happens if you do. So we're going to uncheck that. I'm going to hit Export. It's going to take a minute. It will probably be slower on your machine at school than it is on mine. And now we wait for Adobe Media Encoder to launch. Again, this might take a few minutes on your student machines. First thing I want you to do before you do anything else is I want you to change this renderer to Mercury Playback Engine software only. And the reason why is because we can't use GPU acceleration on the computers that we have right now unless they've been updated since I did this video. Then you can leave it on GPU acceleration. We're going to change it to Mercury Playback Engine software only. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to render it through the software. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look up here and we're going to see this is our file. This is the setting we picked, H.264. By default, it's match source high bit rate. That's fine. And if I click this, it will let me choose where I want to uh, save this and what I want to call it. By default, I have my Adobe Media Encoder so that it puts the information about how it was saved at the end. You don't necessarily need to do that. So we're just going to call this sync2finished.mp4. Okay, so it's H264, it's match source, it's going to the correct thing, and the status says that it's ready. So now I can hit the play button. Start queue. And now it's going to encode my video so that I can watch it as an MP4. So that went really fast on my machine. It may be slower or faster on yours, but it is done. So now we're going to look in this folder, Teaching Unit 5 Practice. And there is my sync2finish.mp4. And there is my video. The audio is appropriately matched up and everything looks pretty good. So you're going to turn in that mp4 along with your FLA file for the uh, for both assignments. If, uh, if you mess any of this stuff up, um, you can always 
right click here. So this one's done. Status is done. Little checkbox. You can right click here and go to reset status, which will bring it back to ready. And then you can go in and change. So let's say that I want to um, upload this to Twitter for some reason. I can go down and change my source so that it is appropriately uh, set up for Twitter. So let's say I wanted to do 640 by 640 for some reason. It's going to spit it out like that. We're going to start the queue. Going to wait for it to do its little chime. And then back to our folder. Unit 5, practice. Uh, sync to finish Twitter 640x640.mp4 And it hasn't changed anything about my video except for how large it is and um, how compressed it is. And that is it. Uh, you don't need to do anything else in Adobe Media Encoder. As soon as it's done, you can close it. And you're done.